Hi, welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is a quick tip video, quick tips for screen printing. Today I wanted to revisit the squeegee size issue. Um, I know I looked at it in the past with uh, the previous video about squeegees, but now that I have a wider assortment of squeegees and I have different sizes the way I would like to have them, I thought I would share that with you. And it's important to me, and I think it's, you know, kind of, uh, most screen printers will agree that having different sizes of squeegees to choose from in your squeegee assortment will help you improve print quality simply by I think it's you know minimizing distortion by having um, a wider squeegee than is necessary for your design, and uh, it also reduces stencil drag. So having you know a choice of squeegees that you can choose from to get the right size is where you want to be. So you want to have like a couple of size choices in the same durometer, like 70 durometer. These these three yellow ones here are 70 durometer. Okay, so I have choice of sizes right and for instance you know size like this this is a big screen a big print you know this one's too small so I would reach over to my squeegee assortment okay and I'm gonna try to choose a squeegee that's gonna be of the appropriate size let's see if we can show you this okay this one would probably work you see, it's not too long. Let me show you, maybe, like, you stroke it along. See, it's, you know, you're looking for about a half an inch on each side of the design. It could be a little bit more or a little bit less, depending. But that's what you're looking for. And let's see. For instance, like, here's a smaller one. So for, for something like this, I might use, well, that one's a little tight. You see that? That's tight. So I would maybe bump up to something like this. And that's an easy half inch on either side. Okay, so that would be good. This one here is bigger, so I might go with something like this. That's way big, so I could come down. I could go and choose and see if I have a little bit smaller one. But sometimes you might not have a smaller one. So just the smallest one to fit would be fine. Okay, so it's not an exact science. You're just looking, this one here would work, and you could even go like this. You know, if it's one color with minimal registration or no reg, you know, you could stroke it like that and it'd be fine. Um, this way it would be tight, but you could do it. I would probably choose this one. And that would be sufficient. So, the point of the video is uh, help yourself out by helping improve print quality in, in all aspects by choosing the appropriate size squeegee for your design on your stencil. It'll re uh, reduce stencil distortion and uh, stencil drag is I believe the two key factors there. So that's about it. I appreciate you guys checking out my videos. I really appreciate that. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I always appreciate that. And as always, thanks for watching.